from Bold Endeavour, Jafoir and Johnson's Blue. Then came Johnny Hu and Lord Snooty from Gwenny Mayboy and West Balboa, every chance from there. Chantry House not too far away still. Then Mon Morale in the yellow, approaching three out. Classic Concord landed with the lead, but now been swamped. Jafoir, Gwenny Mayboy coming there. Johnson's Blue under pressure. Johnny Hu now serves it up to Gwenny Mayboy. Bold Endeavour, Lord Snooty, West Balboa right in behind. Then Jafoir and Mon Morale. They're on the way down towards the final flight of hurdles. And it's Charlie Todd on board. Gwenny Mayboy that leads the way from Johnny Hu racing along in second. West Balboa and Lord Snooty trying to challenge over the last. Gwenny Mayboy landed running. A good three or four lengths in front from Johnny Hu. Then Lord Snooty and West Balboa clear from Mon Morale. They're up the running and it's Gwenny Mayboy who is clear by four lengths. A real scrap on for second place but no doubt about the winner. The opener will go to Gwenny Mayboy. Gwenny Mayboy home in front. Lord Snooty in second, tight for third, maybe just West Balboa. Then Il Atlantique and Josh the Boss, followed then closely by Jimmy Desoy and Man's Way, and Staffordshire not towards the outside in the white cap. Three from the end. Bugsy Seagull just about led, but quickly now pressed by brighter days ahead. Staffordshire not near side. Then Esprit de Poitier, Il Atlantique trying to come up with something now. That was two from the end. Jimmy Desoy is trying to stick on, but they're racing their way down towards the final flight, and brighter days ahead is cruising clear. Brighter days ahead by four lengths now easily from Bugsy Seagull. Staffordshire not, then Jimmy Desoy out over the final flight of hurdles and it's brighter days ahead. She's well on top here. She's going to lead by five lengths with a furlong to go from Staffordshire not. A stable mate chasing in second then Bugsy Seagull and Jimmy Desoy but it's brighter days ahead. Runner up at Chartham goes one better here at Aintree. Brighter days ahead has taken the turn as Mersey Novice's hurdle, who's trying to make all the running in the light green, though. Kenondo Cueto moves up as a big looking threat. Fugitive has been pulled up before three out. Here is a third last now. Cruise control over with the advantage. A couple of lengths. Kenondo Cueto in second. Cribilli is challenging Twig for third. Then Kilbeck King. Forward plan is trying to get going. Then the King of Rye Hope is also trying to edge closer. That was the final open ditch. Two out and cruise control kicks for home again. Stand Shepherd, a couple of lengths to the good at least over forward plan is now out of the pack to challenge then Kenondo Cueto and Twig followed by Cribilli and Sam Brown's now running on when it's all over as they come down towards the final fence it's cruise control from forward plan then Kenondo Cueto Sam Brown and Twig are the next ones out over the final fence and it's still cruise control who's trying to guts it out forward plan is challenging Sam Brown is absolutely thundering home Cruise Control is all out. Sam Brown is getting closer, but Cruise Control will make all. Hewick is now driven very firmly as Hidden Valley Lake goes past him into third. And strong leader is still creeping closer. Then Monkfish and the weakening Dashiell Drasher as Buddy One grabs the lead off Flooring Porter. Buddy One goes on there at the third last. Strong leader is coming to have every chance. Then Hidden Valley Lake, Flooring Porter has faded. Hewick is next as they come towards the second last. Buddy One leading by two to strong lead in second, then Hidden Valley Lake they're clear of Flooring Porter Monkfish plugging on and then Hewitt but Buddy One has got strong leader and Hidden Valley Lake both chasing very hard here, heading to the 13th and final flight, strong leader comes to challenge, strong leader lands level with on the far side Buddy One and it's strong leader and Sean Bowen taking over here and forging away from Buddy One and Hidden Valley Lake strong leader has the advantage he's gone clear by about three and it's going to be a breakthrough, great Grade one win for strong leader. Strong leader comes home to win the JRL Group Liverpool hurdle. Nyan Maximus is next in the field along with on the outside meeting of the waters. Late night pass just led over the second last. Kitty's light coming to challenge. Manella Indo is held together. Galia De La Toe just losing ground as Delta work and meeting of the waters try and improve as they reach the 30th and final fence. Late night pass pressed by Manella Indo and Kitty's light meeting of the waters on the outside. Delta work is coming there. I am Maximus is also looking to get through. There's a loose horse involved as they run towards the elbow. Manella Indo and Rachel Blackmore to Delta work in second. I am Maximus is in third. Kitty's light is in fourth. Manella Indo is pressed and passed by I am Maximus who starts to storm clear inside the last half furlong. And I am Maximus and Paul Townend
streaking away to win the Randox Grand National. I am Maximus the winner. Now come to challenge Quilixios as Nickelback fades. Etalon there on the outside. Over three out. Quilixios held together. Founder 50 still cruising as they run to the last ditch. Two out. Master Chewy in between Quilixios and Founder 50. Etalon back and forth. Three in a line over the second last. Quilixios headed by Master Chewy. But can Master Chewy deal with Founder 50? These two on this long run to the final fence. They lock horns. Both jockeys still just waiting. On the right is Master Chewy. On the left is Founder 50. Founder 50 just to Master Chewy. They've left Quilixios behind. Then Liberty Hunter. Founder 50 is just winning the argument over the last. He lands a length clear. Master Chewy is fighting back though. And he's got to the lead from Founder 50. Heading inside the last half furlong. Founder 50 coming again at Master Chewy in a pulsating McGull. And Founder 50 has just rested the spoils. Oh, it's Mission Impossible from there, you'd think as they turn into the home straight. And it is good and clever, pressing and taking over from Wellington Arch. Here's Triple E Flyer coming there, running away under Paddy Brennan and looking very confident indeed. Still a fair way to go. Valgrand is making a run on the inside. Uh, they're being followed by No Questions Asked, who was at the back in the early stages. And they uh, Sorcerer running on it. Horace is Pearl down the outside as they head inside their final two furlongs. But Paddy Brennan takes a look under an arm on Triple E Flyer. Has the advantage here to good and clever. Valgrand, no questions asked. Horace's Pearl is chasing Sorcerer, then got a dream and Electric Mason. But Tripoli Flyer has the advantage here, is still being chased by Good and Clever. Horace's Pearl is stable, mate, is emerging as a late threat. It's Tripoli Flyer and Paddy Brennan chased by Horace's Pearl, and Horace's Pearl is getting up to deny Tripoli Flyer. And Horace's Pearl and Connor Brace have won.